Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the brand new Nero EV. Last week I got the chance to go along to the local dealer launch of the new Nero EV. And the, it'll be the MI23 model. Um, I had a walk around and sit around inside it. Because um, uh, when it comes to maybe three or four years of mine, I, I might be looking around for something different. And I don't know if I'll be able to afford a new EV6. I hope I can but um, I'm just keeping my options open. So I'm curious as to what EV6 features have trickled down into the new Nero EV. It looks better in the flesh. Um, I'll come to the pros and cons of it um, after this, later in the video. Um, yeah, lots more bits of trim along the bottom that I hadn't noticed in, uh, when I'd seen it before in video form. Um, this is the top level trim with the sunroof, I think. And it's got the contrasting C, C pillars, uh, which got some aero function as well. Um, not really a fan of the different colored C pillars, but then they're only an option in the top trim, so you can just um, configure them out if you don't like them. 17 inch wheels, um, you've got similar kind of controls in the doors to the EV6, the same steering wheel, the same, um, Heating and entertainment um, dual screen. Uh, it's a 10 inch uh, pair of screens instead of the 12 inch that you get in the EV6. So uh, you'll notice that if you're coming down from an EV6. Um, it's also missing the 3D camera, uh, which is the, one of the really good features in the EV6. Um, they've completely redone. Um, the cluster display compared to the, the old e Nero. Um, I had a nose around to see what version of firmware was and it's different from anything that's currently out there. Probably as you would expect. So I had, I had a quick go with some of the controls. I mean it, it's, it's like a disabled version of what you would have in a, um, a proper car. You can't drive it off, it's just gets powered off um, up a 12 volt supply, so you can just powers up the display features, but it's not turning on the drivetrain or anything. Uh, it's got a small frunk, but you still store the cables in. I think the size of the frunk is smaller than you get in a third party one in the E Nero, probably because there's extra inverted stuff for the V2L. As I've said, I have um, was really impressed with what was there. Obviously, it's missing some EV6 features, which are very nice to have. But the highlights, 64.8 um, kilowatt hour battery, 285 miles of WLTP range, 201 brake horsepower. So that's slightly tamed compared to the old Nero. It might make it easier to drive um, wearing the tyres out. Um, 750 kilogram towing capacity vehicle to load functionality, similar driving tech to the EV6, um, in, the, in the top trim, the, the four, you get the head-up display, powered tailgate and remote parking assist and a sunroof. And the list of cons really is the charging speeds are limited to 74 kilowatts compared to the EV6's really fast, ultra fast charging and there's no 3D camera. Um, I think I can just about live with the looks. It looks better in the flesh um, than, than when I first saw it. And if you do away with the C-pillar, I think it looks even better. Um, would I change it if, if I couldn't get another EV6? Yeah, I might do, but I mean, three or four years is a long time, so I'd still look around. Um, but it's not bad. Um, anyway, I'll... Uh, I'll step through the colours that are available um, and the price list. Okay, looking through um, the various uh, trims, you've got the 2, the 3 and the 4. Um, they've all got 64.8 kilowatt hour batteries. Um, obviously the, the base one is, is missing lots of goodies from the top one. Um, the, the 2 starts at 34,995, the 3 starts at 37,745, 
and the four starts at forty four nine five. Uh, the free colour is the orange that's shown here. But if I select the top trim, then you get all of the extra colours and C pillar options. So just going through it now. The orange is called orange flame and will cost you nothing as an option. And then you've got a white black combination, no, it's like a white and grey combination, which is white pearl and grey uh, C pillar. Uh, you've got um, steel grey premium, that's 595 extra. And then you've got mineral blue with a black C pillar, that's 745 extra. And uh, you've got mineral blue um, premium on its own with no extra C pillars, and that's 595. Um, you've got Cityscape Green, uh, again 595. You've got Cityscape Green with a black C pillar, which is 745. You've got Instellar Grey, which is just 595, same as the others. Orange Flame with a C pillar is £150 extra. And then you've got Instellar Grey with a grey C pillar, 745. Vint Dyed Black, 595. Midnight Black with a C pillar, again 745. Uh, white Pearl Premium. I've seen the White Pearl one um, at the dealer demo um, launch last week and it, it's very sparkly. It looks better in the flesh. And then you've got White Pearl and Grey C pillar, again 745. And then Runway Red like this. EV6 I'm currently sitting in. Uh, of those colours, I, I like the blue, all blue, all red, or not, not, I'm probably okay with the orange as well. But uh, as for what's taken away in the different trims, uh, not sure. Um, you'd have to go through line by line. There, there is various uh, data on the Kia website, and this, what you're looking at, is the Kia UK configurator. So you can get 360 degree views. Again, in conclusion, um, I, I'm, I'm really impressed. I'm more impressed than I, I thought it would be. Um, the, the major thing missing compared to an EV6 is the lack of charging speed. This is set at 74 kilowatts, but uh, it's improved the charging curve. So, previously to the e Nero. so um, yeah. If you need it, that's the thing you'd really miss, and probably the 3D cameras. But apart from that, if you had to, if I, if I do have to, then I probably will in three years' time. Cheers.